To welcome back. Now around 700 delegates are attending the National Union of Mine Workers 17th National Congress in Boxburg this morning. President Cyril Ramaphosa will deliver the keynote address and I'll speak, uh, other speakers rather include Public Enterprises Minister Pravin Gordon, Labour Minister Tulas Nguesi and Energy Minister Gwede Mandashi. Let's go to our reporter uh, Mangoba Mkunu who is in Boxburg for us and he joins us now live. Mangoba, we caught the tail end of your doorstop with the President. Uh, he's telling you that he's confident about today, not anxious at all. Well, certainly, Masiko, in fact, that's uh, the question that we posed to the president ahead of uh, the motion of no confidence in himself as well as cabinet that is expected this afternoon. And uh, we really asked him how he was feeling ahead of that uh, motion of no confidence. And uh, he had a very brief response, Masiko. He says that, of course, at this point, he's not worried. In fact, he says that he is not a member of parliament, but he is... Uh, simply there as an observer. So he's not at all worried about that motion of no confidence that is going to be taking place later today. And uh, also, we also quizzed him about uh, the issue perhaps of, uh, you know, the significance of him attending this particular conference. And he alluded to the fact that he is, uh, you know, noom, noom for him or the National Union of Mine Workers is his home. And uh, that's why he's here to honor that invitation. You recall, Masih, of course, that he was uh, a former Secretary General of uh, the National Union of Mine Workers back in 1982. In fact, he helped found the National Union of Mine Workers. And so he says that for him, it's simply coming back home. But we do know the significance and the relevance of him coming here uh, uh, with the National Union of Mine Workers Congress that is taking place here. Of course, it speaks to the elective conference that is going to take place at the end of the year. And of course, this is one of those congresses that will set the tone for that particular elective conference that's going to take place. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, what we are expecting is that uh, this particular Congress will take a position on whether or not they will support the president for a second term. Mm. Uh, so, Manoba, did he answer any questions pertaining to whether or not he still has confidence in his cabinet? Well, Masiko, it was a very brief uh, interaction. In fact, we did try to pose more questions to him, but uh, uh, he had to go inside the room. But uh, what he did uh, mention was that, uh, he, you know, he was not at all concerned about that motion of no confidence. You can see, even in the way that he was speaking, uh, that he was not at all concerned uh, about uh, that, uh, uh, you know, that motion of no confidence that is going to take place this afternoon. So it was a very brief encounter with the president. We didn't have much uh, time to pose more questions to him. He had to be uh, rushed inside because uh, that Congress, he's uh, meant to address the Congress in a short while from now. Uh, we do understand that uh, he will be giving the opening remark in this particular conference. So it was a very brief uh, uh, interaction with him. He only answered those two questions. We tried to pose more questions, but he was, uh, however, taken inside this venue where he's expected to be addressing very soon. Mm. All right, Mangoba, well, let's go back to his role um, uh, back then in the NUM as a shop steward, etc. Uh, you know, what does he think, I just wonder, in terms of what's going on with our unemployment rate and the fact that uh, mine workers have been unhappy for quite a long time? And, of course, we remember what happened in Marigana when those mine workers were asking for more wages. Well, Masika, I did not hear your question uh, quite well, but uh, what I can tell you is that uh, the president is expected to speak soon. Of course, he's going to touch on some of the issues uh, which involve uh, worker frustrations and, uh, uh, in fact, how government and the government's role in trying to deal with some of those frustrations on the part of the union. So we are going to hear when he does deliver a speech later on what he had to say to Congress, but uh, we do know that uh, the president will be giving that speech in a short while from now. All right, Mangoba Mkunu, let's let you uh, go back inside so you can listen to that speech. Uh, let's leave it there for now.